Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use our landing page template to create your own website, which is kind of a faux website, but it's something that you can utilize in your social media profile to kind of have multiple links instead of just using a single link there. So if you have your own website, I always recommend doing this on your own website if you have the ability to create pages. However, I know many of you guys use a brokerage assigned URL and you know whether it's jane.smith at Keller Williams Williams or coldwellbanker.com and so you don't necessarily have the ability to add this additional page um, and instead of using a third party like a link tree or link in profile or campsite where you utilize their branding um, canva actually has um, an option that we can utilize so that you guys can actually create your own bio um, landing page through here. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up our template link through the dashboard and it's going to bring you to a page like this, which you guys have seen many times. Um, it is what we utilize for our um, captions every single month and it's going to bring you to a copy of our template. You can rename this template whatever you would like. So this would be, let's say, social media landing page. And then what we're going to do is obviously you can read this section first. You know, I recommend creating your own landing page and you, instead of using a third party tool, but not everyone has their own website, like I mentioned. So agents and lenders um, are usually assigned their brokerage websites. However, if you um, do have those, don't use this. Um, but if you don't have access to your own domain or self-hosted website, um, this is a great option. Um, it's a super quick way to create a landing page that matches your branding and can direct people kind of like a mobile business card without the hassle of actually coding and doing all that stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick your favorite template from here. You're going to add your branding and messaging, update every link, delete all the pages that you no longer want on here, including this main page, which is just the, you know, intro how to page. And then we're going to copy the URL by publishing it and add it to your Instagram bio through a smaller bit.ly link. So it's not this huge long URL. So um, to do so, I am going to scroll, uh, hover on the bottom right hand corner to the grid view. And this is where you can see all of the different templates and options that there are available. So for this example, I'm actually going to utilize this one that I've highlighted. So I'm gonna just delete every other option on here because I don't need them. Um, and we're only gonna need, utilize one page. I'm actually gonna delete this first one too. However, if you're new to this, keep that one until the end um, so then it's easier for you to um, modify afterwards. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna update the name. My branding is slightly different so we want to switch that out and change the sizes as needed. So I'm just gonna do that right here. Obviously your branding looks slightly different or if you like to utilize our branding, you can do that. Let's find a picture on here. We'll utilize this one just as an example. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger. And um, let's see, let's grab a pretty picture this is more my kind of style and vibe. Actually, I really like this one. And as far as the links go, what you're going to do is you're going to click over each of these and in the top right hand corner um, under your like publish as website, there's this little link icon. You're going to select that and you're going to update it with the link for your website. Um, currently, I have um, saved to R so you can just see what the external website looks like. And you're going to click apply and you're just going to go through, update that, go through update, make sure there is a link on every single one. Um, also, if you don't want this underline, how you can see here, you're going to click it and just select un to not underline it in the formatting because it will automatically underline when you add a link. 
Um, and so what I have here is your about me goes to your about me page on your website. What my clients say can link to your reviews. My current listings goes to your listings page. Start your home search, whether you have a contact form that they can fill out or maybe a free opt-in that they can get like maybe a buyer's guide or a seller's guide. Um, or they maybe have the option to just start looking at your current listings or what's available in their area um, so that you can drop them into your CRM. That's where you would link here. Contact me can go to your website and you can also actually use this as an opportunity to just add your phone number. And so right here you'd actually put tell with this and start putting in that phone number there, whatever it may be. So um, for now, I'm just gonna leave it as a link because that's a little bit easier and format that and write a five star review. This goes to my Google business, my business to, for someone to leave a review for me. So if you wanna link to your Zillow page or a um, review platform that you prefer, you can do that here. And then over here, you can hover over each of these individual icons for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And you can update those, update those links as well to include um, your social media profile. So that's what you will do there. If you wanna update anything, you can. Number one. And again, this is all customizable to you, so make sure that you have your branding and marketing um, messaging in front of you. That way you can easily switch up things on here. So I'm gonna do that just so you guys can see what that would look like for me. I personally like to keep everything pretty large and consistent, but for this sizing, I'm gonna go down actually to a size 32 so it fits a little bit better in these boxes, as you can see here. And there we are, done with that. So um, what we're gonna do next is you're going to make sure that you only have one page in this entire document because if you have more, it will mess up the way that the um, website looks. And then on the top right, you're gonna click Publish as Website. Where the web style is, we're actually going to select that and click Scrolling. We want the single page site with the parallax effect. And then we're gonna go to Open the Website. Now this is what it looks like, which is really awesome. It will look like this on a mobile device as well. So typically what you'll be seeing on a mobile is going to be similar to this, but we're gonna keep it pretty large for right now. And as you can see, if I were to click any of these links, they are gonna take you to their own respective pages. Um, as you can see on here, um, you can see that you know the what my clients say is a little bit off center, so I do wanna go back and change that really quickly. So I'm gonna go in here and just make sure that's centered. Actually might make this a little bit smaller. Get, to get that back in there. Because I switched the sizes of these, we just wanna make sure they stay centered where they need to be. And let's go ahead and publish that website again. The scrolling effect. This is what we have. We're gonna select this URL and click copy. And then we are gonna go into a new tab. Also, does anyone have the same tabs that they had way long ago? These tabs are from like 10 years, 10 years ago. Um, we're gonna go to bit.ly.com and you're gonna go to shorten your link. You're gonna paste that link in there that you just had. If you have an account here, you can do that there. You're gonna click shorten, and then if you want to copy it, you can do so here. Now, if you want to customize that link a little bit more, you're gonna to want to log into your account, and to do so, you are going to log in here and create that link, put that link in there, and then we're gonna change the title of this. Number one, real estate marketing. And um, here we'll just put real RE bio page. Now this is the spot where you can just use your handle or whatever you'd like, and you're gonna click save. Now you're gonna copy that, 
And when you do decide to open it back up, just so you guys see it, it shows right back up. So that is how you create um, and edit the landing page template that we have on our dashboard. If you have any questions about it or you'd like to see more options, let us know and we will try to include them in the future. Thanks guys and we'll talk to you next time.